Everybody, welcome. This is Jackie Bertoni. You're tuned in to Jackie's Groove. It's June 1st. Can you believe it already? Six months into the year. Hey, man, you know, we're going to have a great time today. I'm on the uh, on the line with my good friend of mine, a fellow percussionist. Yes, I know. The monkeys do stay together. I'll tell you. Um, I'm really, really proud and privileged to have on my show today on Jackie's Groove an amazing percussionist, film director, and a composer. Uh, if you haven't familiarized yourself with my guest um, yet, you will um, at the end of the show. So definitely, with open arms and open ears, please welcome to Jackie's Groove, my dear friend, C.G. Reese. C.G., welcome to Jackie's Groove. Your check's in the mail, my friend. It's done, baby. You got my address, so use it wisely. <laughs> How are you, my friend? My brother, I'm good. I got a little sleep last night, which is rare, and uh, new day, and, you know. Ready to hit it, man. So it's a privilege to be on the air with you, man. Thank you, brother. Nope. Let's promote, brother. Let's make it right. Let's make people aware of uh, one more fellow monkey out there, okay? <laughs> and um, let's, uh, you know, I'm going to start with this couple of questions. You've done a multitude of in, uh, interviews before, but we're going to make it a little bit more fun here. But I do want to find out exactly where you were born and, uh, and what year and date it was there. Man, I was born in San Bernardino, man. I'm a 909er. I know that's scary. It's but, okay. uh, uh I was born in 68, man. St. Bernardine's Hospital, man. And did you start playing percussion as soon as you came out of Mama? Or was it at you what know, age I didn't, were you? Man, I didn't. I was in sports. I was in the motocross. Uh, 1983, a buddy of mine that play, I played football with uh, took me to the US Festival. His dad was working with GE uh, with the electronics. And I'd never been to a concert before. And went to this uh, day two, which was Heavy Metal Day, Quiet Riot, Molly Crew, uh, right. you know, all the Van Halen. I saw Ozzy Osbourne and my good friend Tommy Aldridge on the stage, and I'd never seen, my dad had a drum set in the room, and I was told not to play it because I had no timing. And when I saw this guy play drums and do a drum solo, of course, Tommy's a madman, a friend of mine now, and it's just, it inspired me. I thought, if I'm going to do anything in life, I'm going to be that guy right there. And I've never let go of that dream since. So it was around 14 when uh, I, I made that S Festival, and uh, I, I took the drums, put them up in my room, and said, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm playing drums whether you like it or not. So, and that's where it started. Now, is uh, Tommy still in Palm Springs, Palm Springs area? Say it again? Is Tommy still living in the desert, Palm Springs area? I'm not sure. He was up in uh, more towards uh, Thousand Oaks there for a while. Uh, I haven't talked to Tommy in a couple of years, but uh, last I knew he was more up... Uh, uh, Santa Barbara, Thousand Oaks, or, or no, Santa Barbara, that type of area. But I, I'm not sure. He, he might be. Tommy's around. He's still out there touring, man. He's still doing it. Man, I love it. I mean, the first time Tommy saw me with a buddy of mine out in uh, the desert playing, we had this, uh, we were playing a, a Santana set, and Tommy came out with this great, crazy, curly blonde hair, the wig, I thought <laughs> it was. And he walked up, and my friend Jimmy introduced me to him, and I remember he looked at me and says, My brother. He goes, that stuff is tighter than a gnat's ass stretched over a drum. And, you know, and 
And if anybody knows Tommy Aldridge out there, I mean, that, that's his kind of a vibe, man. So, yeah, I mean, we're talking White Snake. I mean, we can go down the list of everybody he's played with. So, But enough about Tommy. Let's get back to my friend CG. Hey, CG, you know what? That song we started out the set with, let's talk about that. What was the genesis of that tune, and what was the name of that song? Oh, uh, the song we just played? Yeah. That was a number called Passages. That's actually the title track to my second uh, CD. And the lyrics are in a Gregorian chant. It's actually a very, very archaic Hebrew Took me about nine months to dig up those lyrics, and uh, I, you know, getting into composing. You know, being a drummer, uh, you know, I, my my history goes back from playing drums and and of course studying to be a record producer with Paul Tucker. And uh, but I got into composing later on and started composing for film and then working with other artists and writing for other artists and Very producing good. other artists. Blah blah blah, and then. Uh, when I started doing my own, I thought, why, why don't I just do my own music, man? Why am I doing everybody else's music, helping them live their dreams when I could do this for myself? And when I did it, 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 it did two things. One, it freed me to really write songs like I really wanted to write. Two, as a percussionist, we can right. do, as the artist and being a percussionist, we can write music and styles that normally wouldn't work for a different artist because it's drum oriented. So you can get more soundtrack or uh, epic and uh, ethereal, and it makes sense visually. And so for me, you know, I, I love writing songs that just take you. I'm a big Pink Floyd fan. I love Pink Floyd or Absolutely. Peter Gabriel. I like music that takes you somewhere. And this is just one of those songs that just, uh, to me, it just takes you somewhere, man. It, it takes you somewhere else. It's not just. You know, some music's you know up for groove and this and that, and but sometimes I just like things that take you, take you somewhere in your your mind, do your yeah, imagination. Man, I, and so. I mean this as a compliment, man. Very, very Cirque du Soleil esque kind of a vibe, you know. And I've been told over the years too by numerous producers, numerous engineers that percussionists seem to make the best music. They have the best engineering, best mixing because we do hear everything because we're basically playing everything that's behind that. You know that where that frame around that great picture that you know, we're supporting, and That's the uh, word I, on the street, my brother. Yeah, man, and I surely wouldn't play anything else, man. I mean, I, I love what we do. You know, um, I want to ask you a question. Um, I first time I saw you live was actually out here in Temecula at the Promenade, their big summer series. Okay. And I got to tell you, and actually, I was recommended to, to see you by my good friend Ron Powell. Yes. And uh, and Ronnie had said you got to see this guy. And when I when I cruised up and I saw you in that uh, that courtyard there. Uh, your rig, your instruments at La- were, were big as the courtyard was, and I thought to myself, "My God, who is this poor bastard that has to be his tech?" <laughs> you know, and because uh, you know, as we get older, at least I'm speaking for myself. I am I'm, I'm eight years older than you are, and when I was young, and way back in you know when when there was no such thing as history, when we would show up, you know, I would have that Neil Pert setup, man. Because again, let's go forward for a second. You play everything you've got there. Yeah. Me, with the groups that I've played with, um, I would have all the stuff around me, and I wouldn't be playing half the shit anyways. Yeah. You know? And so as I got older and got wiser, I would start bringing the commando setup. <laughs> is, you know, is, and a commando setup being you know, less is more. Will there ever be a commando setup in CG's um, future? Man, I look at it like this, and, and this is just an opinion. Um, I got two views on this. One... All war is won with infrastructure, and and I look at it like this: it's not how bad you get beat up on the battlefield; it's whether did you win the war or did you not win the war. And for me, especially doing uh, a solo project, the visual—you uh, know—nobody ever went to hear a show; they go to see a show. And right. and I've been forced by doing a lot of solo uh, performances, you know, outside of the bigger stuff, which you know I, I got my everybody to have a lot of fun with, is to. I have to step it up. I have to. I have to earn your time to stop and watch me. I have to earn, you know, that. And so, having not the rig to what, but I use all that. So it's all part of what right. I do. But level changes. I look at things very uh, philosophically. So level changes and different uh, positions within the rig, as well as space for choreography, uh, and, and you know, whether you know regardless of what you're playing. So I look at it like that. And two, I, I believe in my personal life, God gives me his best. Mm-hmm. And with that said, I want to give people my best. So it, it, people matter to me and, and people that 
enjoy the music. It, it matters to me, and I don't want to give them. And that's t- t- taking a smaller rig is, is, is second best. But for me, it's 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 people deserve. You know, I want to hit that ball out of the park. Besides, you oh, never know that person uh, with the ten million dollar checkbook might be sitting there watching you play. And I've had that happen. And trust me, I've, I've shown up. Dollars, and I've shown up to wrong. gigs. And I've shown up to gigs with uh, uh, less on songs that I've recorded on, and I go to reach for the instrument that I'm trying to play, and I go, shit. You know, and it's, then you got to sit there and revamp your mind of what you're going to play in the area that <laughs> the instrument that's not there. So, you know, so I know strategically when I know when I get hired for a live, it could be in the studio guy that I am, my rig is here. But when I do uh, these live shows, i got to make sure who I'm working with and what I definitely need to bring. Nothing worse than showing up naked. So the, uh, you know, that, that whole vibe is very cool. You know and, and CG, we're going to be doing um, four segments of 12 minutes each. And if I seem to want to jump in and interrupt you, I'm going to do so because, you know, yes, unfortunately. Yes, sir. I got a clock right here. I'm on it. Uh, perfect. So what we're going to do here, as we're trailing down right now, we're, um, uh, we're going to get more involved. In fact, I want the listeners right now, your listeners and new listeners, uh, to take a look at the graphic that was uh, on Facebook and, and Twitter and such. And we'll talk about what we mean by a, a huge rig. And it's, it's quite impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then also go on to YouTube and any social media and just type in C period G period R Y C H E and uh, and look what this man does it's it's quite impressive. Well, so, let me um, give you a quick answer for that too. You know, you asked uh, where I was born. My heritage, though, uh, gives you a lot of uh, answers to. All right, the way well, I'm going to start so, uh, before you. Let's pick that yes. up on the next segment because we got ten seconds. We're going to roll out. You're going to be hearing my mu- beautiful music here momentarily. Let's pick that up on segment number two. Yes, sir. When we get back itself. And everybody else, please don't go anywhere. I'm on I'm in the studio right now with uh, CGB, an amazing percussionist, dear friend of mine. Don't go anywhere. You're going to want to hear all about this. Stay tuned. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwitch.com and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwitch.com. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit moesguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. 
Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on Intertalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing. And it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Welcome to Jackie's Groove. Come journey with us through the rhythm of the music business with your host, Jackie Bertoni. Welcome back. Those progressive grooves were brought to you by my in-studio guest, C.G. Reich. And Jackie's Groove is brought to you by the Intertalk Radio Network. We're definitely your music insider. Hey, and uh, we wanted to uh, pay a little homage to the people out there that keep this this great, great uh, series of uh, radio on the air. Our our amazing sponsors. And I want to start off by saying hi to everybody at Pitbull Pitbull Audio. That's pitbullaudio.com. Calvin Lee and the crew, well, they just want you to play it loud. And also, friends that I'm um, sure CG and I are very familiar with, a company called Studio Instrument Rentals, SIR-USA.com. Check them out for all of your backline needs and, uh, and rehearsal needs. And two people that I'm very biased about. I'm actually going to go three. Um, on our newest sponsors, um, I've been with them for 25 years, the greatest percussion uh, manufacturer in the world, LP Music. And you can reach them at lpmusic.com and along with dwdrums.com. I'm not a drummer, but they're part of the family now. And also my dear friends of mine who provide the wood for my hands for my timbali playing, my dear friends at Vader Percussion, and reach them at vader.com. So with that said, down and back to my crazy guest online, CG. That song was a very, very cool groove, man. And uh, I, I want to talk about that for a second. Let's talk about that. Then we'll get back to what we left off on yeah, segment man. number one. What's, talk to me about the tune. Educate me. About that, the song? Yes. You know what? I, you remember back in the 70s, uh, you know, you had like the streets of San Francisco and right. uh, these these just funky kind of uh, wah guitars and this whole uh, kind of, you know, really, you know, the parliament type bass lines. And right. I, I'm a big fan of that stuff. And, and for me, I wanted to write a song that had a little more... Uh, a little more today could you know include some percussion, but just had a kind of a New York street uh, vibe to it, man. And and so that's a, a song called Vanishing Point, man. You know, so uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the in, in, inspiration for the music as well as um, the name of the song, Vanishing Point. I, I look at it like this: to have a true perspective on a piece of art, everything needs to come from a single point, uh, which yeah. is a vanishing point. And so, you know, do me a favor. Help us out here for a second. Let's let's step into your shoes for one second. We're going to walk in the studio with you. Yes. You're prepared to go in uh, if it's your own studio or an outside source. It's not going to be cheap, no matter how you look at it. When your pre-production goes in, is CG? Are you walking in there with your music already put down? Are you playing most of it? Are you hiring um, uh, sidemen, guns for hire? Uh, talk to me question. about the process yes, yes. that you do. What I do is. Uh, I, you know, coming from a world of of composing, I, I, I can MIDI everything. So I write everything, produce it, get everything ready to go. And then what I do is I bring uh, instruments, uh, you know, I bring guns, and as we go, I got people I work with that are part of uh, my, my, my group, Jeff, uh, Brian, uh, different people. But then I got, you know, 
session players that good friends of mine I use. And mm-hmm. so uh, we go through the process there. And then uh, my stuff's real heavily produced, you know, the arrangements. And one thing I like to do is come back towards the end. I, I put MIDI drums in. And then towards the end, then we put the real drums and, and, and really start adding percussion. And what I like by doing it that way is we, you really know where the holes are because I like music to move, and I think it needs to have – it can't be a cookie cutter. It's got to be individual. You know, so there's bass licks. There's, there's, there's different guitar movements or, or keyboards or structure changes. And once you start forming that as you're going through the production process, you got in your head, I'm not going to MIDI all that. Right. You know, you put it in, and when you come back – towards the end and start inserting the drums and percussion, you can do two things. One, you can find out where the holes are and really make it clean and make it make sense, but also you can do a lot of stuff together. And I think what's really important, a lot of drummers that work with percussionists oftentimes, and, and you know this as well as you know, everybody else is percussionists out there, when you start working with a drummer, I'm not talking about a Lafayette radius, but you know, uh, your other drummers, they, they start, oh, you get excited, they start playing like every samba beat they go to have right. Cuban and, and everything becomes over busy and we don't have nowhere to play and but what I found is when uh, you do licks together or ideas together or work opposite of each other now everything becomes very clean and even from the uh, t- tambales to the congas to the bongos in those type settings as well which you know is basis for clave and all that stuff sure. is you know working together as a unit so I, that's that's basically how i do it so yeah. all the above and uh in that process write the song it's fully done bring the sessions in record drums and uh, percussion last and and really make the drums and percussion so you can find those little moments where the drummer and the percussionist can do stuff together so it sounds like well that was cool yeah, man. you know well, keep, keeping Kinda the music school. sexy <laughs> Yeah, you know, because there's, you know, of all the multitudes of sessions that I've been blessed to do with and working with the greatest drummers in the industry, you know, there's there's a said group core of players that are out there that uh, producers want to hire. They've got the yes. deep pocket, so they can hire anybody they want, but they know there's going to be a said drummer and the style of music that's being played. So who are they going to bring in on percussion? They're going to bring in Jackie. They're going to bring in Luis Conte. They're going to bring in Alex Acuna. They're going to bring in Ron yes. Powell. Well, Ron doesn't do enough studio work, and that's, that's a shame. Um, but the fact of the matter is they know who they're going to bring in because it's not the fact of so much the name on the album. They know they're going to get the right sound back out of the drummer and the percussionist. So Correct. that's where uh, they, make their, uh, they make their vibe it's, uh, and, uh, and, and they keep it all together. You know, I wanted to ask you a question, and um, as I'm looking over a note here, uh, with regards to uh, playing live, playing um, in the studio, what does CG prefer? I mean, do you have a favor of the two? Live, live without a doubt. Uh, I, I love playing live. Just for the uh, the studio, to me, you know, and I put a quote on my Facebook recently. I said, I'm not a bongo player or a pondero juggler or a koto drummer. Right. I'm an artist, and those are the brushes I use to create my art. And and so, and a recording is, uh, it, recording so crazy, man, because it's just like, you got like, you sit down in a session, whatever you lay down right then is going to last forever. And you've got to try to create magic on the spot. There's a talent to that, and it's an incredibly stressful process. Uh, but the live element of that, you get to add showmanship. You get to add working with the crowd. It becomes, music becomes a gift. You know, when you're in the studio, it, it's kind of like making a film. You know, it's all in the editing bay. It's all by yourself. It's all these crazy hours. Then you release something, you don't get to to reap the benefits of, you know, seeing somebody's eyes light up or, or they get the joke. or And so live, you really get the experience and you get to share that music. I love sharing music. I love sharing uh, the gift of, of performance and not just the, the music side, but the, the visual side as well, putting those two together. So You know, and I, and I dig about your situation because difference between you and I live on stage, you know, I'm hired um, for, um, to, you know, to create the groove, to, to, to hang with the players, and to add what I did on the original recording, and that's a very, very cool situation. And you'll agree with me, um, when uh, music is played and there's no percussion on it, it's kind of empty. And then they bring a percussionist in, then the budget falls out, they don't have a percussionist again, we're greatly missed because of all those little uh, little nuances that we bring. The, uh, but again, too, if people haven't seen you live, the difference between you and I, I'm back there holding the groove, you are the front man. I mean, you are a visual um, potpourri, for the lack of a better word. I mean, you are like the lead singer that's surrounded by your, uh, you know, by your, um, your apparatuses for the, and, and, and out there. And, it's, and if you haven't seen CG, do yourselves a favor because it, it's, it's quite the show. It is like 
a one man show with a with a fifty piece orchestra you know, accompanying him. It, that, that's it's pretty impressive. So again, do yourself that favor. Let me ask you a question as we're um, we're trailing down here. We talked about who you grew up with listening to music wise, but as an adult right now, and who inspires you? Is it is it rock? Is it Latin? Is it uh, God? Please don't say new age. Um, uh, what 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 makes you? What inspires you to get in the studio? What inspires you to start writing again? Um, man, that's a great question. You know, uh, geez, I'm going to answer this different. I'm going to answer it shortly the way you want me to answer it. Then I'm going to answer it the way I really see it. Okay. Uh, musically, man, I, I get knocked out by everything, and, and, I, and I and I go through phases. I'm always listening to rock. Right now, I'm listening to some Billy Squire and right. uh, you know Thirty Special and. You know, uh, some black crows. I always put that on the side because there's, there's an essence to that rock that 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 get in there and just play with your, you know, with your balls out, dude, and just going for it. So there's that element. But but I, you know, I'm, I, I listen to you know Parliament. I listen to you know uh, you know smooth jazz. I spent years in doing that and right. sax and so I listen to everything. But really, you know, and I still go back to Pink Floyd and a lot of these bands that, that turn me on. But really, musically, I don't. I don't really write like most people. I, I, I visualize stuff. I, I see, like, like I, I sit back and I go, what would be cool? Because I'm, I'm the artist, so I go, what would be cool to see on stage? What would be something that would just blow me away? Right. I think, well, what if we had Tycho's across the stage like this and that? And we had this image of a film, and, and, and you had this singer dressed up like an angel, and blah, blah, blah. And it was this type of epic sound that came out of like a movie like Braveheart. I'll come up with that idea, and then I'll write it as though I'm being hired to compose that piece of music. So I, I, I kind of produce stuff different. It's not like I'm just inspired. I, 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 you know, I'm very fortunate. It's easy for me to write stuff, so I don't really struggle with trying to. Don't get me wrong. I get writer's block like anyone else, but I don't struggle with having so to write. Song. I'm going to hold you up there a second, by the boy. I'm going to interrupt you one more time. The music is playing, which means we got to move along. There's two more segments left and a lot more to cover itself. So, everybody, don't go anywhere. Get yourself a favorite drink. Relax. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with my in-studio guest, amazing percussionist, film director, and composer, my dear friend, Mr. C.G. Reese. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on segment number three. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit mosguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio, to sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on Intertalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing, and it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Has your business been appified? Are you tired of doing marketing that doesn't deliver results? Mobile apps build loyalty and quality retention. Your app from UPG Mobile puts your business on their mind and at their fingertips. UPG Mobile will give you a custom app highlighting how you are unique, targeting your message, and improving your open rates. Appify your business and amplify your presence with your customers. At UPG Mobile Marketing Group, 
Sound.com. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Jackie's Groove. Come journey with us through the rhythm of the music business with your host, Jackie Bertoni. I don't know about you, man, but I was just catching myself inside of a desert dune buggy doing a thousand miles an hour over a desert dune with that song. Mad Max is alive and well, and the, my Mad Max in the studio today is my dear friend, Mr. C.G. Reesh. And before we get going on with this uh, this uh, interview, I want to say uh, hi to uh, uh, all my other partners on this radio station. You guys do yourselves a favor. Go on to intertalkradio.com. There's so many shows. We've got 12 currently on the air and three more coming up this month. And it's a plethora of goodness, um, all different uh, styles, uh, different shows itself. And um, following me, actually an hour after me today, since we're doing a one-hour broadcast, it's my good friend of mine, John J.R. Robinson, the most recorded drummer in the history of music. And he's going to be uh, interviewing my dear friend, Mr. Danny Seraphine, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer with the group Chicago and California Transit Authority. So check it out. And also, too, do yourselves a favor. My favorite free... My favorite F word today is, is the word free. Go on to uh, either uh, the Apple Store or Google Play and download our easy-to-use and navigate application. Two words. First one, intertalk. Second is radio. You can take Jackie's Groove and all of our shows on the go with you. Uh, do yourselves a favor. We're really, really happy. We're proud of what we do because you know what? Nobody's doing this. You just wait. Mark my words when you see the roster of the who's who of the industry coming on the show. Now, let's talk about the who's who is who's with me today. Let's get back to this with my dear friend of mine, percussionist, CGV Shizi. Welcome back, brother boy. And, you know, oh, we, we left off and we talked about your, you know, your influences and so on and how you'd like to uh, be viewed by the crowds itself. You know, that whole uh, vibe we talked about offline uh, with your talent and your uh, uh, directing uh, expertise there's the word i was looking for let's talk about i know we can't talk about the name but you told me you have a new show that's in production right now uh, in a little small town called las vegas do you want to um exemplify what we talked about yeah right now we are you know working on a uh production that's uh uh i'm very excited about it. i've been working on it for about five years but uh uh it's just it's, it's a groundbreaking type of show that's uh like nothing anyone's ever seen before. It really combines the art of film and music, live performance, all wrapped up in one. It's really based around, you know, music. It's really based around the drumming of the music. I bring about eight percussionists uh, in the show, and we do drum numbers from around the world, as well as integrate them into uh, the songs that I have. And uh, But with that said, it's, it's just uh, some different techniques on being able to take motion picture and make 3d imagery without wearing glasses and oh, um, cool. it's just it's it's basically you know it, it's it, it's a different trip but yeah we're we're you know hooking up with management right now we're uh you know we're talking to a lot of uh established people in the theater and, and film world as, as well as people that are 
very tied into Vegas and tied into uh, uh, the people that represent Steve Wins and guys like mm-hmm. that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about it because it, it would be a uh, not only a, a big Vegas show, but one that just really wraps itself around drums and, and empowers people you know, to believe in their dreams and pursue their dreams. You know, when I was young, nobody told me, everybody told me I'd never make it, I'd never be anybody, I'd never establish myself, you know. And, and I think we need to encourage people, we need to empower people to, we all have a voice. I, I'll tell Absolutely. you this story, you like this. Armando, you, you've heard of a guy named Armando Peraza, right? I think so, God rest if, his beautiful if you soul. Haven't, yeah, yeah, no. The original percussionist with Santana we lost a couple of years ago. Yes. Um, the man, there was always a, there was always a misnomer of what his age was. It finally comes down to the fact that the man was actually 92 years old, and um, and the man never walked like a wounded duck. He always played his ass off from his heart. He inspired a multitude Correct. of percussionists out there. So, with that said, go ahead and. He told and, me and, uh, I, I was that. playing Palm Springs, and I see him in the crowd. And I turn to my buddy Carlos, and I go, dude, that's Mondo Peraza. He goes, nah, it's not Mondo. I go, dude, I'm telling you right now, it's a Mondo. And it was, and he came up and he talked to us and said some very nice things that I never repeat. But uh, in the process, you know, I was like giddy because I'm standing in front of a Mondo Peraza. And I go, hey, Mondo, what do you think of Giovanni? Right? And he looks at me and, and, and he goes, hey, F Giovanni. <laughs> right? And and I go, whoa, you know, and, and he starts putting his finger in my chest. He goes, you know what? Forget Giovanni. He said, I was a revolutionary. I changed, you know, and he starts talking about his resume a little bit, right? I'm going, whoa, did I say the wrong thing? And he goes, you know what? He said, with all that said, CG, nobody can be you better than you. And nobody can be me better than me. Absolutely. He said, Giovanni is Giovanni. Giovanni does what Giovanni does. You do what you do, I do it. It's not a competition. And, and, it, and it really was a wonderful thing he said, I mean, full of wisdom, and it's, it takes the pressure off. I mean, Jackie, you have a voice, and that voice matters, and, and right. nobody can be you better than you, not on percussion and not, not on the radio. And, and there's so many other people out there that, that are aspiring to be something that they're afraid to do. Right. And I think it's important as as artists or, or it's just people to find your voice. And even if it's just 15 minutes a week to have a little bit of fun, do it, man. Because one day you're going to be too old and you're not going to be able to do anything. I mean, I mean, there will be a day CG doesn't have a big ring. Yeah. <laughs> I right. mean, there was a little shaker, but, uh, you know, it's... But it, you'll it's, still be playing, it's though, man. inspire people. You know, and, and I had, trust me, I had my Armando moment, um, you know, back in 1997 at PASIC at the Disneyland Hotel. Those percussionists that are close to me, uh, my dearly departed friend, our friend uh, Raul Reco, who we lost. Yes. Uh, the master percussionist with Santana for 40 years. My, we favorite, lost my him. favorite con girl, man, by yeah, far. Yeah, man, we, we lost him to this, uh, this fucked up thing called cancer on, yep. um, on November 1st. Raul, I love you, brother. You will always be in my heart. And uh, but my close friends, my close close percussion friends, know my Armando moment. I won't go into it on the air right now, but it definitely brought me closer to a president of a major corporation. I'll tell you more about that offline. So you know, with that said, you have to be around these luminaries, these men that have walked his shoes. Just when we think this us young bucks, like we are, great to say young bucks, we think we've been around the block. But these guys that we're talking about, the Armandos and such, we think we've been around the block. But let me just tell you, those boys paved the streets that we've walked on. So. You know, uh, they are the masters in what they do. Um, again, too, it's something to inspire us to move forward. You know, we like to think that we inspire people when we're on stage. You know, we, everybody knows what a drummer looks like. Everybody knows what a bass player looks and sounds like. But this instrument that we play called percussion is kind of cool, man. I mean, I wouldn't want to play any other instrument. It's just that that sound. When people like to actually get a chance to see the instrument in CG's hand or in Jackie's hand, the sound they've heard many times on recordings, they actually see the little instrument that's making that noise, it, it, it's pretty inspiring. I love that all the way around, you know. And what inspires me is is brothers like you that are out there working it, um, you know, not resting on your laurels, man, and knowing that every day we wake up, we've got to bring this crazy thing called music to life. And, um, Correct. you know, with that said, let me ask you a question. It's You wake up in the morning. Let's say a day of your gig. You wake up. you got a big show ahead of you. Let us walk in your shoes one more time. What do you do? How do you prepare for that day? Take us through that day. Well, you know, I mean, I I live under the adage, you know, number one, I'm a grade A idiot. Let's get that straight. Two, uh, 
I work a lot of hours, man. You know, I'm working 18 hours, 20 hours. So, I mean, you know, if I, <laughs> the amount of work I do in a day before a gig is, is, is stupid. But with right. that said, um, really, w- I look at music like this, and this answers the question. Music is rhythm. It, it, it's melodies. It's chords. You can take that and put that into like a, 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 a like you're going to bake a cake, and you can make something that can get you a pat on the back, you know, maybe get you that pretty girl across the the hall there or get you a free meal, et cetera. Or you can take that same, those same rhythms and mix them up and, and bake something that will bless someone else, that will inspire them to pursue their dreams or take their mind off their bills. So I always look at performance as the opportunity to be a doctor for the mind, the opportunity to, you know, give, not, not get, but to give the art of performance, the beautiful instruments as percussionists we, we play some of the most ancient instruments in the world right. you know unlike you know a guitarist or a drummer i mean we're, we're playing it, it you know thousands of year old instruments and to be able to take these and 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 and, and bless people or or, or they, they light up and go hey what was that instrument oh i've heard that sound before i never knew what that was right. and it, it, it's a wonderful a wonderful opportunity so i look forward to that and that's really how i prepare myself and and I and I and I take it very seriously. So when I get up there, that I, I don't I don't have on and off days. I think the greats. I'm not one of the greats, but I'm saying what, the greats are the guys that are always hitting. It's not on and off. They're always hitting 100. percent So I really focus hard to always try to give 100 percent on that stage, regardless of anything else, so that I have my moments. You know, I take risks, and sometimes they don't always pay off. But um, you know, but when they do, you know, there's that's rewards so, to them for so the cool people you said watching. That. That's so cool you said that. Raul Reco years ago did a great show. I think he was in uh, in Brazil in front of 100,000 people, and he just did this amazing so. You know what? I'm going to hold that because I've only got 10 seconds of this. So I'm going to pick that up. <laughs> Remind me about that. As we trail out of uh, segment three into segment four with my in-studio guest, C.G. Reich, let's pick that up again, man, because he's great little anecdotes that people don't know, and basically stories true from the, uh, the horse's mouth. So when we get back on segment number four, we're going to pick it up where we left off with my in-studio guest, fellow percussionist, film producer, director, all-around great guy, Mr. C.G. Reach. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back on segment number four on Jackie's Groove. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on InterTalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on InterTalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing, and it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Hi, this is Rob Barnett, CEO and founder of VinVillage.com and the Wine and Dine Show on Vin Village Radio. Do you have a wine, event, product, or service to promote? Then contact VinVillage.com to reach thousands of wine lovers across the country. Vin Village connects like-minded wine enthusiasts with unique and exclusive wines, events, products, and services. To learn more, contact us on VinVillage.com. Vin Village is where wine lovers connect. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit moesguitars.com or their Facebook page. 
mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Journey with us through the rhythm of the music business with your host, Jackie Bertoni. Everybody, welcome back to the final set of a one-hour interview with my in-studio guest today on Jackie's Groove. This is Jackie Bertoni, and I'm hanging out with my bro, Mr. C.G. Reich. C.G., you know, I want to tell you something that's really, really cool. i got a six degrees of separation. Uh, my cousin, Chris Bertoni, she happened to see you at uh, Victoria Gardens. Okay. In, and uh, she took a picture with you. Uh, you had your arm around her. And she said, I don't know if you know this cousin, this person, but he's amazing. And I typed back. I said, honey, please. I didn't fall off a yam truck yesterday. I know exactly who that boy is. She had an amazing time, and actually she became part of your uh, your uh, mailing list so she can find out where you're at. And, guys, I want to talk to you real quick about my listeners. If you like what you're hearing on Jackie's Groove, and my God, how could you not with this stellar uh, lineup of entertainers we've got coming in? We're pretty proud of what – no, we're not pretty proud. We're extremely honored. This Saturday we're going live with Mr. Michael McDonald at the Newport Beach Jazz Festival at the High Regency. Uh, really, really excited about that. And then that same day, we're heading over to the Irvine Amphithe- Irvine Meadows or Verizon Amphitheater uh, to hang out with our good friend Danny Reyes and Chris Fryer and a gentleman by the name of Zach Brown. So, you know, we're, we're doing things. We're doing things big here on Jackie's Groove. And if you have any questions, any feedback, please send it to me at interviews at Jackie'sGroove.com. If it's positive, I'll get back to you. If it's not positive, delete. So with that said, guys, you know, we're really, really happy. And let's, let's talk... Real, a little more in depth with my dear friend of mine. I'm looking at notes again. I can't chew gum and walk at the same time. CG, welcome back, brother. Hey, man, you know what? We we all have a side person. We all have a person that we walk hand in hand with that, you know, that, that powers this great situation. In this case, it's going to be called Intertalk Radio. Um, I know he's there. He's the CEO. He's an amazing bass player, by the way, also. Not that. He's my closest, closest brother. And uh, I thank him, and we should all thank him for having a network like this. So with that yeah. said... I'm going to bring on uh, Florentino. I want you to say hi to Florentino. Florentino, say hi to CG, and, um, and, and let me breathe for a second. What's up, CG? How are you doing, brother? What's happening, my brother? How are you doing? I'm good, man. I was, I was If I had hair, man, I'd be bobbing my hair, doing the whole rock and roll <laughs> hair thing when I was listening to tracks. <laughs> I get it, dude. I'm losing it as we speak, man. Man, I got to have the whole shaved head thing going on. So, yeah, great, great stuff, man. And you guys, uh, you know, I love the bass. Br- I mean, the uh, the percussion brothers talking, man. We need to get some bass brothers up in this joint, though. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we bass player and percussion are brothers, man. Yeah, you know what? That's that's true. You know, we, you know, we are, we're all fighting for that same one woman that's left after the rest of the band takes all the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> Dig. 
So, hey, bro, you know what? You've got such amazing music and you've got such a wealth of experience in this in this industry. Tell me a little bit, uh, uh, you know, how can people find about you? you know, where, where, what are the websites, the social media? You know, can they send smoke signals? How does, how does that work, bro? Uh, you're very kind. Um, you know what? I can make it easy. If you just go to my name, uh, C.G. Reich, C-G-R-Y-C-H-E, Dot com. From there, you can get to both my film website, which will harness all that social media concerning uh, motion picture TV. Uh, you can go, and or you can go to the music site, which will harness all the social media containing, uh, uh, you know, the, the music side of the project, uh, as well as music videos, short films, EPKs. There's, there's just a, a, a gamut. I got. I, I think social media is very, very. Uh, relevant and very, very important for anybody in their career. So uh, stay on top of your social media. So you can find all that stuff very easy, cgreich.com. Oh, man, made it simple, brother. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. I know the listeners appreciate it as well. Cool, man. What is this bumper music? I got to know. That's, that's some grooving stuff. What, what <laughs> am I listening to? Well, look, you're listening bumper to, music. Well, you're listening to Jackie on percussion. You're listening to Florentino, the gentleman you're talking to on bass. And you're listening to uh, my boy, the Russian boy, Paul BPS, on guitar, he's my audio engineer, and he's the one that makes all the sounds happen here. So, yeah, man, we're really, really excited. That's a, it's a very cool tune, man. It's uh, written by those gentlemen. It's flavored by me, and we get the greatest compliments. And again, the voice that's on there is uh, our mutual friend Talia Tergetos from ninety four point seven The Wave. So she's kind of put her best yeah, foot yeah. forward for us. You no, know, it's, and it's, it's very, it's mixed very nice. It's arranged nice. It's uh, you know, I, I listen to it when I listen to the the show when I'm not on the radio, but every time I'm hearing the bumper, I go. I gotta ask. It's good too. Well, thank, thank you, man. We we, you know, we uh, we were sweating, man, because you know we're big fans of Jackie's, and we were like, man, we got to make this thing right. We we got to come correct on this, or else, uh, you know, Jackie won't lo- love us anymore. So we the we have to keep the works. Life. She did well. <laughs> That's my right. Take the hey, rest you know, of the day off with pay. And don't go anywhere. See, um, don't go anywhere, uh, Florentino. CJ, I want to ask you a question. Something that we talk about because you know. We've always bust our ass growing up, and we try to make as much money as we can to get these beautiful instruments around us. But, of course, when we reach that pinnacle of um, the Yo-Cat status, then we get these things called endorsements from these big companies. Myself, again, with LP and with Vader and Sabian yes. and so on and so forth. And they give this stuff to us because they want our likeness to be associated with that. So with Correct. that said, give a shout-out to the guys that are lacing your stage with rig and gear and such. Talk to them. Oh, you're very kind, very kind. Uh, well, Remo Incorporated? Uh, definitely the, you know, I, I, I switched a long time ago, uh, and went strictly to them because I can get everything under one, one roof right. and, you know, from Brazilian, African, you know, Japanese, Afro-Cuban, it's all there. So, uh, you know, definitely remote and they, they definitely go out of the way and make some custom stuff that is exclusive for me and, and what I do as an artist, uh, Paiste, uh, which I love the symbols and they okay. also go out of the way and make some exclusive stuff for me, which is very nice. Uh, Vic Firth Sticks and uh, Gibraltar Hardware, man, so I can have this big monkey-looking rig so I can compensate for not knowing how to play. Is Chrissy Hart taking, <laughs> is Chris Hart taking care of you over there? You are what? the monkey, man. Is Chris Hart taking care of you over at Remo? What's that? Is, yeah, they take care of me. They take good care of me over there. I but mean, is Chris it's, taking it's care of you? Chris Hart. shake up with uh, Mr. Belly Dying. Uh, oh, no, man. So um, I, was, I was really close. I, I, I shot film for Remo for about eight years. I had actually written a uh, movie for Remo that was a documentary I was trying to get uh, funded. And because I knew, you know, the thing of it is, Jackie, we're, we're losing these greats. I mean, Martin's like one of the few left that right. are, are the guys that are the innovators that really – you know, made a difference for me and you to be able to go do what we do, Dude. where's their story? I mean, what if we had high-definition video of Bach talking about his inspiration? You know what I mean? These, these older guys that, that, that can tell these stories, and, 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 and they're, they're rough and uh, times and, and, and everything else, man. We don't have it, and why don't we have it? There's no excuse. Yeah. It costs money. It's a problem. And, you know, it's just getting people to put up the money. So I was really close to Remo. God Personally, bless him. and it was a big loss, and he definitely, uh, you know, his uh, team of innovators up there, i.e. Chalo, a good friend right. Chalo, that really uh, changed the game, I think, especially for someone like me that's thinking out of the box and larger than life, so. CG, let me ask you, let, let me just hit you right here. we got 30 seconds left. I just want to say, man, thank you so much. We usually have a two-hour interview because of scheduling situations. We only had one hour. Why don't you make a promise to me, man? When this new project starts to, uh, to come more into fruition, would you do me a favor and welcome uh, yourself back to my show? The answer is always yes, man. 
come That's on. That's it, baby. I'll come, I'll come watch you call and mow your lawn, dude. That's it. Hey, everybody, I want you guys to sit there and say uh, thank you very much to CG Rock and for gracing Jackie's groove. Everybody, please always check in with us. We broadcast live Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and also on Wednesday at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. And you can also go to intertalkradio.com forward slash Jackie's Groove or Jackie's Groove.com for the finest of entertainment that's made available. Everybody, thank you very much for tuning in. CG, thank you so much, my brother. Love you. We'll see each other soon on stage. And uh, stick around, guys. You definitely want to check out John J.R. Robinson's show at 2 p.m. Are you serious about your music? Are you ready to run with the big dogs? The experts at Pitbull Audio have the gear to get you into the game. From leading manufacturers like Mesa Boogie, Fender, Pioneer, and American Audio. To sound your best, you need the best. Pitbull Audio can deliver in rehearsal, on stage, and into the big time. Dropping beats, shredding guitar, or making the crowd roar. Whatever you dream, Pitbull Audio can help make it happen. We are Pitbull Audio. We want you to play it loud. PitbullAudio.com Have you ever wondered what it's like to record on a Grammy award-winning album? Have you ever wondered what it's like to play in front of a stadium crowd? Have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a world tour? I'm Jackie Bertoni, and I've played with the who's who in the music industry, and I've toured the world. Come join my world behind the velvet rope and get into the groove on Jackie's Groove. Live 2 p.m. Mondays and available 24-7 on Jackie'sGroove.com. Hey, it's Catherine from Listen Local Radio. Moe's Guitars has proudly served the San Diego music community since 1975. Specializing in guitars, basses, mandolins, banjos, and ukuleles, they buy, sell, trade, and consign. If you're looking for lessons, repairs, accessories, and cool gear, you found the right place. Located in downtown La Mesa Village, stop by and check out their digs or visit mosguitars.com or their Facebook page, mozeguitars.com, 619-698-1185. Hi, this is Tim Dolbear, host of Sound Experience here on Intertalk Radio. And Source Connect by Source Element is the essential tool that we use to link between my studio in Austin, Texas, and the WS radio station in San Diego. Now, with Source Connect, not only can we communicate in real time and with HD audio, but it's synced up and is of a high enough quality that I can use it for real time ADR work, remote recording, and overdubbing. And it even allows me to remotely control a DAW. Source Connect by Source Element, affordable, high quality audio and video connection over the internet for all of your production needs. Hi, I'm Tim Dolbear, the host of Sound Experience on Intertalk Radio. Each week, I talk with top professional audio engineers, producers, musicians, and the manufacturers that make the tools that we use in the studio each and every day. From capturing the perfect take to mastering your final release and the tools and how the pros use them, we are going to dive deep into their process and learn from their experience. I look forward to you joining us each week on Sound Experience with me, your host, Tim Dolbear. Which sandwich is healthy and tasty? Which sandwich can come on bread or in a bowl? Which sandwich comes 51 different ways, so it's always your way? A which which sandwich? Stop into our shop in Hazard Center. We're upstairs from the Hazard Center Digiplex. Bring in your movie ticket. We will add a free drink and chips to your sandwich order. Or order online at whichwhich.com, and we will have it ready and waiting. W-H-I-C-H-W-I-C-H. Whichwhich.com. 